come along to watch my micro blending transformation. Shari Ricci in Naguru Kampawa to get my eyebrows micro blended. So this is my before. And as you can see, she made me feel really comfortable and it was an amazing time that I had. So she goes ahead and she starts mopping after using that scaling to see where my arch is because girl i did not have eyebrow tails so she was trying to show me how she can raise my eyebrows and still have a realistic natural eyebrow look so when she does that she goes to show you and explain what exactly you need and then she trims off the extra roots to show you how it's gonna look like once she's done then she goes ahead to numb your eyebrows. So that white cream is numbing cream. So you don't feel pain. Because honestly, you just feel the scratches from the needle. But you don't really feel the pain. And that's what the numbing cream helps with. And it's a bit cold. But when they, when they put it, you just feel a little tingly. Then I went ahead and laid down. And she started doing her mojo. I mean, she honestly does an amazing job. And you feel very calm and i like how she keeps like keeping you engaged but trust me i was dozing in there because i didn't feel any pain and i felt very comfortable she continues making the little i would say marks i have no idea but she did really amazing so she goes on repeating and keeps numbing you the more she makes the eyebrow lines and micro blades too so that helps you actually feel no pain at all then she keeps putting in the ink i mean you're gonna love my eyebrows at the end of this video the whole session takes two hours but honestly it didn't even feel like two hours because we kept talking and when they said that your estheticians have all the juice trust me they do because when you only you just feel like you've been long time besties and you just end up talking the whole time i really had a great time and she stays very focused and she was very professional to me that is like the best thing and now here she was doing the final touches and i was really getting very anxious and so excited and also i'm gonna let her tell you more about microblading and who it is for before i reveal the final eyebrows Hi guys, my name is Shari and I'm the owner of Shari Ritchie Beauty, which is located in Kampala, Uganda. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about microblading. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions out there in terms of how long microblading lasts, who is it for, um, all those things, what skin type can get it. Um, let me just give you a little bit of feedback. So I just did a microblading session with Imelda and she wanted me to give you guys a little bit of insight. Microblading lasts on average one to three years. I personally have seen clients with that have gone just a little bit over three years, but it doesn't mean that your microblading will last that long period. Now, this is simply because microblading um, differs on different skin. So whatever your skin type is and your lifestyle, that also affects how your microblading will come out. Now, me and you can do the microblading today and my microblading will last maybe two years, going on three, and yours can last a year. One key important ingredient after you have gotten your microblading is sunscreen. Now, that might sound as a shocker and if your microblading artist has not told you that before, then they misled you a bit and the reason why sunscreen is important it is because you want to protect the work that is done sunscreen is should be a part of your everyday routine if you follow my page shara richie beauty then you would know that i always preach you need to wear sunscreen skin cancer is a real thing and when you get tattoos or microblading the sunscreen helps with protecting the work that is done if you're not wearing sunscreen that is also one reason why your microblading, microblading is not lasting Another thing that you need to remember that everyone's lifestyle is different, which is also why your microblading could not be lasting the same time as your friend or your partner, whoever got it done. Um, microblading lasts on average one to three years, like I said. 
Anyone who doesn't have serious health conditions can get microblading. There are certain exceptions like heavily pregnant women. I would not advise, advise personally for you to get microblading. Um, that could be a health risk for yourself and your baby. Um, if you have, if you're taking blood thinners, you know, certain painkillers or certain medication that thins your blood, I would not advise you to get microblading because that will be an issue. If I am cutting your skin, you will have excess blood coming out and we do not want that. We want your brows to end up perfect, just like you are. So these are two rules, main rules that I would say, use sunscreen after your appointment, follow the proper aftercare procedure that your artist has given you. Also make sure that you are taking care of your brow. No dirty hands, no dirty pillowcases, no one is supposed to be touching your brow. Give it the proper healing time and you should be fine. Um, make sure that you're not doing the brows if you have active acne. That is my last step. If you have a lot of pimples on your face, don't get microblading. Wait until your acne has subsided and you should be fine. Uh, we give a lot of tips and tricks for microblading um, at Shire Beauty. You can follow us at Chai Beauty on Instagram, Chai Beauty on YouTube, and we will be giving you more tips and tricks and even for skincare. Bye. And ta-da, here is the final reveal of my eyebrows. I mean, they look very realistic and very simple. They blend in so well with my skin tone. And I'll be visiting again in two weeks for my touch-up session. Thank you for watching and coming along. See you next time.